So OpenAI just came out with a new feature called GPTs. And basically, you can now create custom versions of ChatGPT. You can upload your own data and basically create your own specialized version of ChatGPT that you can even share with people so they can have conversations with it. And so in this video, I want to show you guys how I already started using this new feature to generate ad images for my agency. So if you're new to the channel, basically what I do is I work with real estate investors to help them find off-market deals using Facebook ads. And so one of the things that we constantly have to do is create new ad images so that our investors can get leads at a lower cost. And so, you know, traditionally you would have to create those images yourself or hire somebody to design a custom graphic. Now with this specific feature inside of ChatGPT, I now have been able to create custom ad images that are actually good. And I'm going to show you how to do it on this video um, that I can use for my clients to actually get leads. And so I wouldn't be sharing this with you if some of the images that were created weren't actually good. There are some things you have to do to actually dial the prompt in so that the bot produces you know, good quality images. But this is an actual image I generated. It's not the best one, but I wasn't going to spend too long doing it. But I actually generated this image for this specific training video. And so I'm going to show you, you know, how you can use this new feature. So when you go into your chat GPT, you can actually see here, um, you know, I already have some ones that I'm working on. But basically, there's a few, you know, simple things you need to know before you get into actually creating it. Um, and really, the main one is to actually define what you're building first, okay? If you go into it and don't actually know, you know, what you're creating, it's going to be pretty hard to get the end result. So once you define what you're building, then all you need to do is create simple instructions, upload custom data if you want, which is crazy cool, and correct and iterate. So what I'm going to build on this specific video is I'm just going to build a custom chat GPT bot that generates Facebook ad images for a solar business. So let's say that you're a solar business and you want to generate more leads, homeowners that are interested in purchasing solar. So if you're running ads, right, and you want to generate leads that um, basically come from those ads, you need good ads, right? And so I'm going to show you how you can use this custom GPT to basically make your own uh, bot. And like you, you guys can see, I'm already uh, doing some pretty cool stuff with it. So basically what you're going to do is log into your OpenAI account. Um, I do believe this is for GPT plus um, users. So most of you guys, you know, if you're not using GPT plus, um, you know, the ROI from it is insane. Um, it saves time and wait until you see what it can actually do for you. So once you have GPT plus, um, you should have this feature. So all you got to do is you'll you know go into your OpenAI account and then you'll see a button here that says explore and then that'll take you to this my GPTs section. So what you're going to do is click on create a GPT and now you're basically co-creating with ChatGPT your own custom bot. So this is super cool. So you can see here it says hi, I'll help you build a new GPT. You can say something like make a creative who helps generate visuals for new products or make a software engineer who helps format my code. So the uh, the amount of things that you can build with this is endless. Um, I just wanted to stick to something very simple for now. Um, but literally, the, the use cases for this are insane. Um, and I'll share those more as I actually develop, um, you know, different ones that are actually good, because I don't want to just share stuff that's just AI, just to say AI for the sake of it. So this, um, you know, ad image creator that I'm going to show you how to make um, was producing ad images that um, I am going to be using because they actually look good. So let's get started. So first step is what would you like to make? Okay, so I'm going to just kind of start the process of, you know, working with the system. And then we're going to get responses over here um, that kind of preview how the bot works once we dial in the prompt. So for here, this is where you're co creating, you know, what you want to create with the bot itself. So we're going to say, uh, generate ad images for solar for homeowners who are interested in buying solar. Okay, so we're just going to start it from there. Because um, you don't want to over prompt it initially, you just want to start to see, you know, what responses it produces, and, um, you know, see what kind of images that we generate, because this thing's pretty smart on its own, there's just a few things that you have to tweak to really get it dialed in. So you can see here, it says updating GPT. And that's going to basically produce kind of a question, most likely, um, but it'll update the prompt for you. So great, we've established the broad goal. Let's give it a name. How about solar flare? So we can just call it uh, say yes for now. But already, um, the, the bot is pretty much ready to go. Okay, we're just going to need to toggle back and forth between generating actual previews so we can see how they come out. And then, um, you know, correcting the prompt over here. So it's making a profile picture just for the sake of it. So I'll just kind of walk you through that process. But um, it, this thing's already ready to go. So I'm going to just say yes for now, because I'm not going to spend too much time on this, you can customize all this. So I'm just going to say no, that's good. Okay, so we're going to save this here. And just I'm gonna do only people with a link. 
I'll confirm that and you can make it only you um, or you can make it public. So now I am communicating with my own bot that I just made. I obviously only put one sentence in here, um, but basically it's ready to go. So I'm gonna click on, um, you know, design a solar savings app. So let's just see what it comes up with just off that. It's pretty insane to see this because like I said, once you dial in the actual prompts, um, you'll see that it gets pretty dang good um, and they actually become usable images. And you know, for 20 bucks a month um, to get unlimited images and all the other things it provides is honestly insane. So there we go. It's gonna generate one image. Let's see what it comes up with. So that's already like in the right direction. Um, there's some tweaks that I would say just in terms of if you're gonna actually advertise this. But um, the cool thing is number one, we can actually just regenerate another image just to see what it produces off that initial prompt. So we don't have to change the prompt yet. Um, but as we start to find the images that we like, we can save those and we can even use the images that it generates to create, um, to basically tell it, hey, we like these images, can you make more like this? So we're just, we just wanna see what it starts producing right off of the bat um and let's see what let's see what it says so okay so that's obviously going you know a little potentially too far into the ai realm in my experience um so what we're going to do is we are going to get more specific with the actual uh, instruction here so i'm communicating with the actual bot right here so this is the solar flare bot okay so if i ever want to change like the actual instructions i'll show you how to do that but i'm now communicating with that base prompt okay i'm not just having a conversation with gpt i'm having a conversation with a custom bot and so the better you prompt it the more specific it's going to produce images in this case so let's just say um we're gonna i'm gonna pause this just think of a description and then i'll you know i'll show you what i typed out all right so i just wrote design an ad targeted to homeowners who are interested in solar the main message is to quote unquote save on solar depict a modern house with a big zero dollar down sign in the image show happy homeowners saving money with solar so this is just to give the gpt a better more specific understanding of what we want in the ad and then from here we're going to see kind of what it produces so um you know i type that in and then it's going to create these these images here so I, i'll pause it until it generates all right so check that out. That's pretty good <laughs> in terms of like, we're starting to get into the realm. I mean, this potentially could be um, an ad, a usable ad. Obviously this all comes down to, you know, you got to test it and prove it in the real, you know, the actual market, but this is a way better image generation. Okay. So I'm going to just give it some feedback and say, this is great. Can you generate another variation of this? And let's just see what it produces. But the cool thing is I can literally download this right here, okay? So that'll be on my actual computer um, that I could use as an actual ad image. And like I said, I can even upload that image here and you know, say, hey, you know, these are the images I liked that you generated. Can you create more like that? But let's just see, you know, because this is pretty good. Um, if you have direct feedback and you're pretty creative, um, you'll be able to kind of custom, you know, give custom instructions to chat GPT and say specifically what you would want to see. If you're not as creative, you're probably going to rely more on just generating other variations of it. But let's just see what it does. Because I mean, the output that it creates, I mean, you really can't predict because um, it's generating an image. So let me pause that. All right, let's see. Okay, so this is uh, this is good to show you guys because obviously right here, um, you know, this isn't in English, like this doesn't make sense, right? So what you can do is, um, it didn't work too great when I did it, but I'll show you two ways to do it. So one, here's where you can actually go into the instructions of the bot and you can talk to the bot. Now, the specific way that I'm gonna show you right now doesn't quite always work with the actual image generation. But remember, when you use the custom GPT, this can be used for anything. This can be used to correct code. This can be used to provide technical support. This can be used to provide um, different ideas. Like you can use this for any specific purpose that you want. So what I'm gonna show you is mainly so you understand how to use the custom GPT. But in the image, uh, like generating images specifically, it doesn't quite work great. But let me show you the, the, you know, the framework for it. So click on edit GPT. And now it basically says, welcome back. Is there anything solar flare should be doing better? So basically, hey, do you wanna make like corrections to the bot? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, yes. Sometimes the image, images that are generated aren't spelled correctly or aren't in English. Make sure that all images generated have words spelled correctly in English, okay? So we're gonna send that over and it's gonna actually change the prompt, okay? So the prompt that um, you know gets created, I'll show you after it generates a response because I don't wanna mess with it, but like why 
the, the prompt that gets generated is based on these instructions. So before this feature, you would have to, you know, pretty much take your best guess at what the prompt is. Um, but you can see it says, got it. I've updated the, you know, the prompt basically, and it's based on that feedback I gave it. So now if we go to configure, we can see kind of underneath the hood, what it created based on what we've told it. Okay. And as we continue to give it feedback, it'll continue to adjust these instructions. And like I said, it, um, with the images, it's not quite on point to making sure everything is spelled, um, you know, correctly. There is a better way to do it. But if you plan on using this for other things other than just generating images, um, that giving it feedback is, is a really beneficial thing. So I'm going to click update and just make sure that I update, you know, this, the GPT that I made right here so that it has the newest uh, prompt. So I'm going to go back here and basically chat with it again. So I'm going to click on, um, let's just see, let's just see. So uh, design and advertisement for, or let's see if uh, I can take from this existing conversation here. Oh no, it went away. Um, Cause I don't know what I wrote on that last one, but um, let's just say design an image targeted to homeowners who want to save money by going with solar, or let's just say by installing solar. And then what I'm gonna do is because of the way the last images were generated, um, and there was a misspelling, what you can do is you can say um, like key points are, and you can say uh, save big on solar, and then you can say zero dollar down solar. And then we can say um, show a modern house with a family happily saving money with solar. So the base prompt should be good enough to where we should start to be able to get new images um, that are better. And then from there, we can really start to like just really dial in what it is that we want to create and then just start making more of those. So you kind of have to work with it a little bit. Um, you know, if you if you just kind of put in one prompt, you know, and a few images, it may not come out that good. So, so there we go. Um, that's one potential image. So let's just say, um, yeah, this, this guy's like standing over there on his own. I don't know if that's supposed to be the solar rep, but what we're going to say is... Um, let me pause this and, and I'll write it. Okay, so check out this other variation. I think this one's pretty good. It's obviously computer generated, but this is like the the image itself is solid, okay? And there's a few different like things that stick out to me. One, just like the coloring's good. The sign is like right there in the front and um, everybody, like everything like makes sense, okay? So we want to basically talk to the bot and see what, what inputs did it run internally to produce this image? Um, because this is like a good one, okay? So what I'm gonna do is basically say, I love this image. I want to create more like this in the exact same style. How or uh, what instructions should I use to regenerate new variations like this? Because what you wanna do is eventually design your own prompt where you can just paste you know, like exactly, see, here you go. You wanna, yep, exactly. So it's telling you exactly what it did. So if you wanna change this to a, you know, um, you know, an Asian family, you wanna change this to a black family, you wanna change this to um, a white family, you wanna change this to, you know, basically target different audiences, you can do all that with this. So see how it basically just told you what it did? There's the gold mine. That's what you wanna find on your own because now I can come in here and now I have my like prompt. Like I have my thing that I can actually work off of and I can say, okay, like if I wanna change this, uh, Caucasian father, Hispanic mother, okay, so see, this is like literally perfect. So I'm gonna just basically resend this over so that it has the same prompt, but it's just, we're generating a new variation of it, right? But if you wanted to change this, right, and target a different demographic, then you can do that or you can change just the style, okay? So this is more like, uh, I guess you would call it, it looks more like a painting. So if you want it to look more cartoonish, I'll show you like, how we can change just that one thing and then you can start generating different styles but you have the right type of like prompt initial prompt so you can start generating images so let's see what it produces here boom there you go so there's another pretty solid ad based on the same prompt so same thing i can simply re you know paste this thing in again and it's going to generate a new variation um yeah so it's going to tell me basically that i already pasted that so yeah, it's basically telling me, yeah, that even though 
it's the same prompt, it's going to produce um, different uh, variations, which is what I like, because it's like you're giving it the same data, but it's just going to produce a slightly different variation. But these two are, are solid. Okay, so I'm going to just change one um, it, part right here, I'm going to just say a cartoonish image. Um, and that alone should give it enough variation, just that one word. So there it is making a new um, image. So what I would recommend is like define what you're building, obviously, and then start creating this iterative process that I'm showing you right here live. Like I didn't plan this exact, I just came up with this on the spot. So once you find what that prompt is, then um, now you can start talking to it. Watch, let's see what it produces. Okay, so I don't really like that one as much, but that's what it's, you know, the cartoonish, right, is uh, basically that's what it came up with. So what I would say is define what you're building and then start the iterative process of actually getting that base prompt, like find an image you like, like this one, and, and then from there, you can you know just copy paste what I po posted here so that you have your own um, your own base prompt here and then once you have that frame you can simply talk to the actual bot and say like what other like let's say I like, literally what you would what you're thinking in your mind so like I'm gonna say let's say I really love the image layout but I want to create different variations in other styles what other styles or I'm going to say, can you provide a list of styles I can choose from to generate a new variation of the prompt? And so from here, it should tell you like you, we have, I don't know, modern or whatever, watercolor. There you go. So then all you got to do is break down, you know, what what's in this prompt and kind of determine what these variables are. And then you can actually tell it to rewrite the prompt based on, um, you know, based on these, these options. So let's try, um, I'm going to try this, uh, yeah, see, it's giving you a lot. Like, I wouldn't have been able to think of all these, right? So let's try. So watch, this is this is what I do when I'm doing this kind of on my own. I say, can I give, can I select one of those styles and then you adjust the prompt I attach accordingly? And so it should say yes. And then from there, I can basically, yeah, perfect. So what I'm going to do is say, okay, let's just try this, this, uh, pop art one. Okay. So I want to try this same prompt using the pop art style. Okay. So it should be able to process that and then generate a new image based on the pop art. So that's really the process of just kind of like get the base prompt, dial it in. And then, I mean, one, I would suggest keep generating images um, to, cause you know, it says at, even though you are pasting the exact same input, it's still going to generate different outputs with slight variations. Like these are totally different, but similar, right? So once you determine the variables, talk to the bot and say, Hey, you know, what other variations can I like create off of this base prompt and give me other ideas. And then from there, it just, you know, you, you kind of got it figured out. So there you go. That's actually, that's actually pretty dope to be honest. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Um, wow. That like, see, that's. You can make an entire brand off of this type of an ad. So I'm going to end it there because that one's dope. Um, I hope you guys like um, like this. Um, if you're interested in AI and all this stuff, there's links below to I got snapshots. If you're in the high level community or you can join our free community, um, all the links are below. But yeah, just if you want to stay connected in the community, I'd recommend the free group. And um, yeah, this is actually this is actually pretty sick. So um, I'm going to snag that one right there. Um, but yeah, hopefully this this helps. Um, yeah, let me know if you guys need anything or you know from the from the video here. I'll ha happily give that to you guys. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, peace.